Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy. And I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Patched. And today we're gonna be reviewing the Ninjutsu Origin 1X wireless gaming mouse. And if you guys do want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box. And also, if you guys want to follow us on Twitch, our Twitch is right over here. And we'll be gaming we'll with be mice gaming. like these when we test them. Exactly. So, a uh, ninjutsu. Um, uh, I like their logo though. Their logo is pretty sick. Their logo sick. It's kind of it's got, it's like a shuriken, but with like a little blade on it. I don't yeah. know. See, I'd never heard of this company before, um, but I've I've seen a bunch of people start to review these mice. Um, and I saw it on the mouse review reddit. So I was like, you know what? Why not? I'll give it a shot I'll purchase it. It looks all right. You know it had I saw it had kale switches and stuff in there Which we'll get into um, But let's get it started off with the shape It's obviously an ergonomic shape that we got here, but it's not like as fat as a, a, an ergonomic mouse But from the bottom it kind of looks like a almost a death adder a little bit um, but it's giving me death adder vibes. Yeah, like Lucas said, it's not too large, you know, but uh, it's, it, it is still quite large, right? Um, and my hand is pretty small. I would say it's around like small to medium size. And um, it's it fits pretty comfortably if I'm using it like for a palm grip. I don't palm grip when I game, uh, but I do palm grip when I'm just kind of like casually using the mouse and browsing the web or something like that. So it feels really nice for a palm grip. Also, I had no issues with a, a fingertip grip, you know? If you look at the arch, uh, it is pretty much right smack in the middle of the mouse, but it's a very sharp arch. Look at that. So it like... <laughs> you kind of like fold your hand like this a little bit, which kind of which kind of feels nice when you grip uh, the mouse with a palm grip. Also, if you look from like this angle, we can see that uh, obviously it is an ergonomic shape. So there is a pretty high bump here on the left side of the mouse. Yeah. So, I mean, all in all, with the shape, I felt like this mouse was very easy to get into. Like it was very easy to just sort of pick up and play with. Like I didn't feel like there was an adjustment period because I only use pretty much amb ambidextrous mice. So I'm usually used to those shapes. Ergos usually take me a good bit to get used to. I can't just pick up and start gaming with them. Otherwise I suck at whatever game I'm playing. Um, with this, I feel like it was very, very easy to pick up and start gaming with. Um, I felt very, very comfortable claw gripping this mouse. Even though I know with an ergo, typically you'd want to palm one of those because they're made so fat to kind of fill out your hand. Um, but my first instinct was to claw grip with this guy and it felt amazing for claw grip. Uh, took no getting used to and I was I was kind of just popping heads in Valorant with it right out the gate, which was dope um, And then obviously browsing the internet palm grip felt good um, Fingertip feels all right with this guy, but I kind of have to like tilt the mouse a little bit So it's kind of like off-center like that um, In order to get it because it has this large arch that otherwise would kind of be bugging my hand and be a little uncomfortable So the fingertip just kind of acknowledge that you're gonna have to tilt the mouse a little bit over but not a huge deal. Yeah, the shape is actually pretty damn nice. As far as the mouse switches goes, we got Kale GM 8.0s and they feel actually very, very nice. It's a really satisfying and very hard click. Like, like that sounds nice and it feels nice. And there's a perfect amount, or just in my opinion, there's the perfect amount of uh, pre-travel and post-travel. It's a great feeling mouse one and two click. Yeah, like I don't know about you guys, but I mean, if you've been around here for a while, you know us here at Patched, we love a crisp click. We yes. love a good kale switch yeah. and a mouse. It feels good. It's crisp. It's just so tactile and nice to click. It just feels good. I, every click feels like it's got like some oomph. You know, yeah. like w like um, when you when you click on a head, it's like boom. You know what I mean? It's like it's, it's not a soft click. You know, yeah, what like I mean? like with an Omron switch, it's just it's so soft and like it's yeah. uh, I, it's like a boring click to me. It's very monotonous. I feel like I, I always run into like sort of issues with Omron switches. Whereas this, it's like bam click. I passively know that I've I've like I've clicked and it feels good too. Because I know you're gonna be wearing a headset. You're not gonna be hearing the sound of the click. You know, even as nice as beautiful as it is. You're not gonna be hearing that, so uh, it's just a good click. Feels yes. good. The the side buttons, however, feel real crappy. There's a whole lot of post travel and a whole lot of pre travel, and the click just it doesn't sound nice and doesn't feel nice. You know, it feels really cheap actually. So uh, that kind of sucks. But I, I they're not hard to press though. I mean, they're really easy to press, and there's really nothing wrong with it. It's just the actual switches that they use for the side buttons don't feel very nice and yeah quality. i would just say they're about average for for mouse side buttons they're you know side buttons i feel like are always kind of like they're like webcams on a laptop where yeah. they're just kind of slapped on there very just because it needs to be on there you know um so yeah the average they, they feel about average i would say 
Yeah, and as far as the scroll wheel goes, the scroll wheel actually has very tactile steps and you also have a pretty nice click on the scroll wheel as well. We have some, uh, I guess like a ribbed rubber on yeah. here and it feels nice. It just feels very nice and grippy. I had no issues with the placement of the scroll wheel either. So everything about the switches felt nice besides like, I guess the, the side buttons. Yeah, and to sort of to sort of breeze over what's what else is in the mouse. I mean, this guy is wireless. It's got about forty eight hours of battery life um, on the two point four gigahertz channel. There is no option on here um, to switch it into Bluetooth. So do do notice that for my Bluetooth users. But you wouldn't really want that when you're gaming, anyways. And this seems to be catered more towards uh, more towards gaming. Uh, DPI button on the bottom, and then also we've got. PTFE skates. It is pure virgin grade PTFE, so it is not pimp grade P PTFE. It's not We're USDA still, organic. Exactly. We are still waiting for USDA organic PTFE. We've also got a PAW3335 sensor in there. Um, feels average, feels very <laughs> responsive. You know, can't complain about that. Um, the weight of this guy is actually pretty pretty shocking for an ergo. Yes. Um, they are saying this guy is 66 grams and we're about to test that for you. Yes, uh, we're in millimeters right now, so there you go. Let's see, 65 grams. 65, you heard it here first. Okay, all right, it's pretty, it's pretty accurate, right? Yeah, those filthy liars, <laughs> they, they were a gram off. Yes, <laughs> so uh, yeah, it feels very light. Uh, also, because it is wireless, it feels great because, I mean, uh, this uh, braided cable feels great. You know, like if you if you have to charge the mouse while you're gaming, it's not going to be an issue at all. Um, but, you know, the, uh, like, the quality, like, I don't know if it's just ours, but yeah. it's like glued this in. This thing was <laughs> dirt cheap. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, it's, it's nice that the, the, there's a dingle and it has USB-C, so... I love the USB-C. Yeah. I love that for charging. Exactly. But the dingle, why does why does the dingle, the dingle sucks. Yeah. It it's... like slides, the chassis slides off of it. I mean, I guess you don't really need it. It's cool. It's got a Ninjutsu logo. But like, <laughs> you need that logo. Come on, like a little bit of Gorilla Glue up in this yeah. would have fixed that real quick. I but... guess we could we could do that. But yeah. Why do we have to do that? Yeah, you know? exactly. But that, I mean, that's that's really the only like quality control issue that I feel like I had with this mouse. Because otherwise, I mean, moving on to build quality and durability, feels like a pretty sturdy, decent mouse. I mean, I, I didn't have any issues with the finish. It kind of, it's actually kind of a nice finish on there. I didn't notice any issues with fingerprint on the white version. Um, it does come in black as well. I would look out, maybe, maybe get fingerprints on the black. Maybe you tell, tell us in the comments if you do. But yeah, other than that, build quality felt great on this for me. Yeah, the, the finish is great. You know, it's a very nice and grippy texture. And um, I, I don't know, like, Build build quality feels okay to me. You know, it doesn't feel great. You know, I, I don't like the fact that the dingle that the dingle is like this. And also, I feel like this is just kind of like a uh, run of the mill like like you know, if you want to make a mouse, this is kind of what you get for a like a wireless receiver, right? And uh, as far as like the the overall looks goes, like on the bottom and stuff, it just doesn't seem like very quality to me. But you know, as far as like just playing with the mouse, I had no issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, and plus it's 80 bucks and 80 bucks for a wireless mouse is actually pretty damn good. I mean, the, uh, the, the battery isn't the best as far as the overall capacity goes uh, when you have to recharge the battery. But uh, I mean, 80 bucks is still a great price, you know? Yeah. I mean, I really don't, I, I've never had an issue with wireless mice. I feel like if you use a wireless mice before or a wireless mouse before, you kind of just know that they're like, they're, it takes like 10 minutes between a game to charge the thing up and it's good for like a couple hours, you know? So not really a huge deal. Um, there is no RGB though. So, I mean, I don't really care about RGB, but yeah, so. So sad. <laughs> I, uh, very sad, I guess, in, in Lucas's eyes. Um, so anyways, wrapping things up, what do you feel about this mouse? It feels good. I feel like all in all, I mean, it's, it's a good mouse, but I feel like it's just good. I feel like it didn't really excel in anything. It's kind of just a jack of all trades. Like it felt good with all grip styles, except for maybe fingertip. I'd watch out if you're using fingertip, but as a claw grip mouse, easy to pick up, very easy to play with. I liked it. No, uh, for me, I would say, yeah, same. You know, uh, it, it, was a, it was a pretty nice mouse. I don't think I'm gonna daily drive it though, just because, you know, the quality didn't seem the best. I do like the switches, but you know, of course, as, as far as the shape goes also, it's not my favorite shape either. But if you're into the ergonomic shape, I definitely think you would enjoy this shape. So uh, anyways, this, this is overall a very solid mouse and for a great price because it is a wireless mouse. So again, if you guys do want to cop, we'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. 
Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.